everyone and welcome to Lipstick on a Rig. Today we're going to be making this adorable baby beanie using the crisscross stitch. For this project I'm going to be using size 4 medium weight acrylic yarn and this is just leftover yarn I have from previous projects. And I'm also going to be using a size F or 5 crochet hook. And we're going to begin this project with a magic circle and we're going to place 12 double crochets inside of it. And if you're unfamiliar with any of the stitches used in this pattern, then please check the links in the description because I will have my stitch tutorials listed down there. And once you have your 12 double crochets inside your magic circle, then just place a slip stitch in the top of your first double crochet and then we're going to cut and tie off our yarn. And we're going to attach our next color onto our crochet hook using a slip knot. So from here, insert your crochet hook in any of the loops along your edge. And I'm just going to put mine near where my ending tail was for my previous color. And all you're going to do is yarn over and drop all the loops on your crochet hook. And from here, we're going to chain three. And from here, you're going to place a double crochet in the stitch directly behind where your current stitch is. So for me, that's right there. And then we're going to place a double crochet in our next stitch. And then we're going to place a double crochet in the stitch where we previously inserted our crochet hook to start the row. And so from here we're going to place a double crochet in our next stitch. And then we're going to place a double crochet in the stitch behind that stitch. We're just going to repeat that pattern going all the way around our row. And when you get done, you should have a total of 24 double crochet stitches. And when you get to the end of your row, you're going to place your double crochet right here in this stitch where you've previously worked. And then in the stitch directly behind it, just like normal. And then you're going to place a slip stitch in your first stitch right here and cut and tie off your yarn. And again, we're going to attach our next color with a slip knot. And just like before, we're just going to insert our crochet hook in any stitch in our row. And then we're just going to yarn over and pull through all the loops on our crochet hook and chain three. And again, we're going to place a double crochet in the stitch directly behind our chain three. And the pattern for this row is going to be to place two increasing crisscross stitches. So I'll show you how to do that. Go ahead and place a double crochet in your next stitch. And then place a double crochet in that previous stitch that you've already worked in. And that's how you place an increasing crisscross stitch. So we're going to place one more. So we're going to place a double crochet in our next stitch. And then a double crochet in our previous stitch. And then to place a regular crisscross stitch, which we're going to do next, you're going to skip your next stitch and dive right into your next stitch with a double crochet. And then we're going to place a double crochet in our skipped stitch. And so following the pattern for the rest of the row, you're going to place two more increasing crisscross stitches and then a regular. So go ahead and repeat that going all the way around your row. And when you get done, you should have a total of 18 crisscross stitches or 36 stitches. And when you get to the end of your row, you're just going to place a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch. And then you're going to cut and tie off your yarn. And again, you're going to attach the yarn to your crochet hook with a slip knot. And that was our last row of increasing, so go ahead and insert your crochet hook in one of your stitches in your row. And pull through for a slip stitch. Then we're going to chain three. And just like before, we're going to place a double crochet in the stitch directly behind our chain three stitch. And from here, we're just going to place regular crisscross stitches going all the way along our row. So at the end of the row, we should have a total of 18 crisscross stitches or 36 regular stitches. And when you get to the end of your row, you're just going to place a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch, just like before, and then you're going to cut and tie off your yarn. And from here, we're just going to repeat that last row over and over to build the body of our beanie. And I went ahead and added four rows of just placing my regular crisscross stitches. And so go ahead and switch colors to whatever color you want to be your brim. And we're going to chain one. 
and we're going to place a single crochet in the same stitch where we just inserted our crochet hook to change colors. And from here we're just going to place one single crochet in each stitch in our row. And when we get to the end of our row we should have 36 single crochets in the chain stitch. And when you get to the end of your row, you're going to skip your chain stitch and dive right into your first single crochet stitch and place a slip stitch. And then we're going to chain one and we're going to follow that same pattern. So place one single crochet in each stitch in your row. And when it comes to placing your very last stitch, you will be placing that in your slip stitch here directly before your chain one. And so again, we're going to skip our chain one stitch and we're going to place a slip stitch in our first single crochet. And from here, we're just going to repeat that last row. And once you've repeated that last row, then we're just going to cut and tie off our yarn. And I like to weave my tail in the direction that I was crocheting for a few stitches and then up the inside of the beanie. And I went ahead and tied some of my starting and ending tails together just to kind of keep them in place. And now I'm just going to turn it back the right way. Please let me know in the comments below if you experienced any issues while you were making this and I will do my best to help you out. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel, Lipstick on a Rig. Thank you so much for working with me and I hope you have a wonderful, awesome day.